Hello everyone, Craig Chamberlain here with CraigTheTechTeacher.com and again we're doing Windows 8.1 today and we're going through this book, Windows 8.1 The Missing Manual. If you haven't picked it up yet, remember O'Reilly does some of the best tech help books out there. Check it out in the video link below, as well as if you haven't become a patron yet, consider becoming one. They help support the show, grow the show, and they get a slew of benefits from me for as little as $2. That's right, check it out in the link below. Top patrons for this month are Jacob Williams with Wild Academy at wildacademy.com. Go to him for Ruby tutorials and to just meet an interesting guy. Also check out Brooke Chamberlain with ashleybeigephotography.com for awesome wedding photography as well as interesting, interesting approaches to photography. And finally, Precision Electric, which is where I'm broadcasting from, precision-elec.com for industrial services, including motor repair, electronics repair, PCB, variable frequency drives, you name it. So let's go ahead and get started today. Check out the Start menu. Here it is. Because looking at it, it's quite, quite normal, right? I keep calling it the Start menu, but it's the Start screen because there's no menu anymore. And today we're going to talk about notifications. This is going to be a short video because notifications are a small part of the Windows 8 operating system, especially if you are, uh, you know, you are actually not using a touchscreen or not using a tablet. You're probably just going to see this. It's just going to annoy you. So the features here are customizable. So we're going to go through all of the ways you can customize your notifications. So that way you guys know how to get rid of them or to keep them completely up to you. So let's start by doing this. I can just type in notifications and it'll come up with, uh, hopefully you can spell notifications correctly. So I can click notification settings and it'll instantly come up to the right screen to bring up my notification settings. Now if you want to get to this manually, you have to open up your charms bar. Remember, if you can't remember how to get to your charms bar, go to the top right corner and hold your mouse. Charms bar will come up. Or you can hold the Windows key and press C and then you can go to settings and then click at the bottom right hand corner change PC settings and then it's in at that point search and apps and then go to notifications now these are the way these are the basic uh, notification settings you can set up and uh, they're pretty straightforward and self-explanatory you have obviously the default to show app notifications you can completely disable those and it'll disable everything. Uh, you can just have the notifications no longer show up on your lock screen. Remember your lock screen is what happens when you, uh, you're you basically logged out and you have to log back in. It has that basic overlay of your lock screen. So you can have it no longer show notifications there. You can have it disable the notification sounds. So of course the little bubble noise it makes or whatever whenever you get your notifications occur, that's where you want to go there to change that. Um, the next one you want to do, turn on my screen when I get a call. That's if you receive a call. Remember, this is mostly for mobile devices, uh, but you can set it up to actually turn on when you do receive a call uh, directly from whatever it might be. Um, but again, Windows phones, this makes way more sense with. Now, this is one of the more interesting things here. So if you go down through here, you can set up quiet hours. And you can stop ad app notifications during certain hours of the day, and they turn back on uh, if you start using your PC or when quiet hours end. So I can say, okay, at nighttime when I have my computer basically just sitting there going in standby or sleep mode, I do not want notifications to occur. So I can turn that on and I can set my date and time range, um, just my time range. I can also make it so I can receive calls during quiet hours even though I'm turning off my notifications. Uh, and again, that goes away. The quiet hours go away as soon as you are using your computer. So Windows will know when you're using your computer at that point. Now, finally, you can go down through here. And if you're like me, there's certain applications you have no interest whatsoever in receiving updates from. And for example, I just installed Facebook to show this as an example. And let's say I don't want to receive any notifications for Facebook. So I'll go ahead and turn that off and they will no longer pop up right at the, the main screen. Uh, when we're when we're working on notifications so really when it comes to notifications that's about it that's about all there is to customizing your notifications in Windows 8 and really you're either gonna turn them on or you're gonna turn them off for most cases and for me I usually go in there and I usually just turn them all off because I have no interest whatsoever in being notified on a desktop of when my uh, when I want my notifications to come up in fact, we're going to go ahead and remove Facebook now because I've, I've, I've had enough of that already. 
So that's it for this video. That's how you uh, customize your Windows 8 notifications. And if you have any questions, remember you can shoot me an qu uh, email, craig at craigthetechteacher.com. As always, consider becoming a patron. You'll get VIP access to me as well as a slew of other benefits, and you'll just help support and grow the show. And that's always appreciated. Thank you guys for coming out, and as always, stay tuned for the next Windows 8 video.